Hi guys, if you're anything like me, you're here because you've been looking for the right bandsaw for you and you're trying to find out what really differentiates these saws in the, in the first place. I had been researching bandsaws for about a year and I was dead set on Jet. It's a well-known brand, I've known it for years, it's heavy duty, uh, the price seems to align with what you think you're going to get for quality. And I had only ever seen any of these bandsaws in two dimensions online, probably like you. And then I finally got to a place where I saw them in three dimensions and you can see I did not get the jet. So why didn't I get the jet? If you're anything like me, you had a grandfather that showed you what high quality tools look like. My dad also said, buy it once and forget about it. You'll never have to deal with it again. When I finally had an opportunity to go to a showroom floor where they had several bandsaws lined up, this Laguna stood out more than any other saw on the market. I wasn't even looking at Laguna. I was dead set on jet, like I said before. And when I saw this thing in person, I couldn't believe just how much better and more refined it looked. Let me show you a few reasons. Now, as I mentioned, there were just a few reasons that Laguna stood out to me big time. You know, the blade guide, uh, you know, it's ceramic and others have ball bearings and I was set on ball bearings. Look, it comes down to preference. I'm not even going to go into that because there are so many videos out there on that. These are the things that stood out to me right away. First of all, the quality of the finish on this cast iron. There aren't any lines on it. There aren't any mill marks. It is smooth as silk. Number two, when I was assembling it, I noticed something down here that you don't get very often anymore on the wheel kit. See that? Brass bushings. You don't get plastic, you get brass. This is a heavy machine and it requires it. A lot of companies don't care that it requires it. Uh, the third thing I noticed is when I was assembling it. The uh, guide bar for the fence, this is solid steel. This is not a hollow piece of steel with a cap on it. This is solid bar stock. So it's probably four or five pounds. That kind of stuff helps a lot with stability and keeping your, your fence straight and in line. And then finally, the other thing that stood out to me uh, was just a little detail that they don't have to do. But let me show you, when you open this door to access your blades, this door, you see this? It has a gasket on it, a little gasket. The other saws on the floor did not have that. Laguna doesn't have to do this, but when you close it, it closes solidly and it clasps down and it doesn't rattle. A lot of saws do rattle. Uh, next, if you take a look at this, uh, this worm gear here, this right here, when I saw it on the floor, I couldn't believe how wide it was compared to the others. You see that? It's just about three quarters wide. It's about three quarters wide. Every other one on the floor <clears throat> was probably a half inch or right around there, and it kind of rattled when it, when it moved. Look at this, smooth as silk. You could operate this thing with one finger if you needed to. Real quiet, nice and solid. Now listen guys, I don't know if these things are as important to you as they are to me, but when I see details like this on a tool, I know that that company puts a lot of pride in how they build it. I am not sponsored by anyone. And this is the kind of video I was looking for when I was trying to differentiate between saws. So I hope that all of you find this helpful. This is my opinion. Jet is still a great brand. In fact, if I showed you some of my other tools, you'd see I still believe in them. But when it came to this bandsaw, this clearly stood out among the others. I hope you found this helpful.